check it out. I got these I got these cool new microphones. So maybe the sound quality is better. Hello. Oh. <laughs> You're dropping this thing. It's gonna be the death of me. Hey folks, and welcome to the Pattaya Thailand Total Luxury Resort Experience. We are on our way to a resort today, and, th and this resort has been recommended to me, uh, I guess, multiple times by different people. And I, I've always said, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll uh, go and take a look at it, and today is that day. We are on our way, so we're just going to turn up here. Now, I know it looks like maybe uh, we're a little bit outside of the town and the, and the city, but... I assure you, the bright lights of Walking Street are only about five minutes away. So I, even though it looks a little bit rural right here, uh, it's not that far. So let's go down here and check it out, and then we'll check in. Today we've come to the Royal Cliff Beach Hotel in Pratamnak, I guess cozy beach area. And it's a whole big, <laughs> it's, a, it's a whole big area back here. You, the, the driveway is probably a kilometer long. There's other hotels and facilities and it's huge. So we're gonna have a good time looking around and we're gonna go check into our room. I guess that's the swimming pool. I doubt it. I think they have something a little better for us in terms of swimming, but we'll see. like to stay in the center of town but we got some stuff to do there tomorrow and we're gonna be staying in a place there tomorrow really special you'll see it's huge so today we're gonna take it easy out here at this resort and we'll see uh, we'll see what there is to see we'll see all the what all the fuss is about <laughs> oh, okay ceiling. Uh, what's our room number? So yeah, welcome to our resort guest room here. We'll take a quick look around in here. Now, the day I booked this on Agoda, the, the basic room of the resort was 2,600 baht, about 80 US dollars, but I opted for an upgraded room which was called a Sea View Mini Suite. There's our robes, look at that, his and hers, pink and purple. Little little bit of a mini bar here. And the Sea View, uh, the Sea View Mini Suite was 3,300 baht, so about $110-ish. So you get a, a bigger room, you get of course the, the water view and uh, you get the seating area over here. And uh, they've even given us a little a little plate of fruit there as a little welcome thing. That's nice. But oh, uh, we were kind of impressed with this. I, I'm kind of glad I got the, the sea view room. We'll take a look at the view over there in a minute. But the bed was, bed was uh, perfectly uh, soft and very comfortable, just the way I like it. Everything was right where you expect it. Full host of all the amenities, everything that you're going to need. They gave us a, you know, a hair dryer and, uh, you know, slippers flip-flops they had beach towels which were a different color than the the white bathroom towels there's the safety box that looks like a good one so you've got everything in here in the in the washroom there was no shortage uh, shortage of supplies in there either uh, everything and plus other things that you don't see everywhere else so plenty of stuff plenty of stuff you got a a 
bathtub and shower, but it's all one unit. I prefer the separate, but this is this is all one unit, which is adequate. Even had the rainfall, uh, the rainfall shower head. So we're, we're liking what we saw so far, and the fixtures look modern and updated. Although this isn't the newest of resorts, but here's our view outside. Everything's big and beautiful out here. Balcony had a table and chairs. We had a lovely view, a little private beach down there. You can see right across to all the other rooms. And it's just a, a beautiful view out here. What can I say? They had uh, boats coming in and out of here. And not a whole lot going on right now because there's not a whole lot of guests. And I'll go into that in a minute because there's a lot of things here that uh, maybe aren't running at full capacity right now. But it's still plenty of things to do and see, so we'll go out here in a minute. But all your modern conveniences, you've got the plugs right where you need them, even right by the bed. So we were happy about that. So, <laughs> what can I say? This is a special place. It's, it's like a whole campus back here. I'll show you like the grounds from an aerial view. They provided us with a map. And by the way, my only criticism is that some areas, the ceiling is very low. Like right here, I've got that much room. <laughs> I mean, there's people that are, I'm not that tall, you know. I'd say if you were 6'2", you were gonna hit your head on that. But just a beautiful, beautiful room. And, and in the main part, in the main chamber, it's got, a, it's got actually a, a nice high ceiling. But I was a little bit taken back some of the, in the hallway even, the, the ceiling was a lot lower than I'm used to. But it doesn't change the fact that it really is a special place. Very well decorated, just high end. The details, the, the trim on the tile, uh, very nice furniture. Look, a little fruit plate. Ah, beautiful balcony and the view. A great view of Kolan. There's a private beach over here. We've got a lot to see, a lot to see. There's a restaurant here we're going to eat at down there at the beach. Uh, we're going to have a full day here. So everything that, I, everything that I can show you, I'll show you. Uh, it's just uh, it's amazing back here. Whole nother hotel. It's not all of it's open right now because they, they, just, they just don't have the business to warrant all of it. But when it's all open, you've got a little golf cart that will take you around to all the different, um, different hotels on the campus or, or the complex, whatever you want to call it. But I'd, I'd like to know how many, how many acres this place is. It's huge. Each one of these buildings probably sits on three, four, five acres, and there's four or five buildings. So it's a big, big campus back here. Really something, really something. But we love our room, so we'll get unpacked, mm -hmm. do what we got to do, and we'll start making the rounds. So we'll see what's doing. Supposedly down here somewhere, I gotta find it. It's, it's almost like an adventure just walking around here. There's so many different places you can go. But there's a restaurant right down by the beach on the water. And uh, it's past lunchtime. I guess it's about two o'clock. So we'll go down and get our, kind of our big meal in the middle of the day. And uh, see if we can get something good. <laughs> Brizio, that's where we're going, Brizio. I think we gotta go down this way. Maybe? I need a banana. Where's Iowa? I think that would be it down there. I see some tables set right there on the on the waterfront. Gorgeous little beach here. Look at this. Not the biggest beach, but Definitely looks nice. I love those umbrellas. They got tables for your for your drink. Right there, the water. 
Very nice. Very well done. So yeah, welcome to Brizio. This is only one of about a dozen lounges and restaurants that they have here at the resort, but this one is right here, as you can see, on the water. So this is the one the uh, I met the sales director in the lobby. She she knew my channel and she recommended this, and I'm glad she did. It was really neat. All right, so he's got a a tom yum tale, a spicy seafood soup, and. And we're going to split an order of spring rolls. Look very interesting. Uh, spinach and ricotta spring rolls. I'm hating this thing already. <laughs> I hope the sound quality is better. And I'm going to have a, a fish and chips, but it said it was spiced up. A spiced up fish and chips. And it's only Thursday. It's not Friday. So uh, I'm going to try that, though. It looked good. It looked some, like something different. It looked like something interesting. So we'll see what that's going to be. Yeah, I think your hardest decision is deciding which one of these places at the resort to eat at. There was an Indian restaurant there. There was another place called Panorama that was right on the water. They have a happy hour there. But let's take a look at this real quick. lovely the fish was excellent I, I would swear it was cod um, not for sure but it's what it tasted like very good it wasn't really spicy I'm not sure why the menu said spicy it wasn't spicy but it was very good very very good fish uh, the spring rolls fantastic and I had a little bit of ease too these was good lots of seafood she got the seafood uh, soup lots of seafood so we had a great lunch here great meal and you can't beat the you can't beat the view and the the surroundings here beautiful especially since we're the only ones here but um good stuff good stuff so yeah after that lovely meal we continued our look around the resort or i should say resorts because it's like multiple resorts all just kind of glom together here and there's pools and there is so much to look at so Unfortunately, we're going to have to wait till next time. It's just too much to cram into one episode, and I don't want to. I don't want to show it, you know, half-heartedly. It really is something to see here, and we had a great time. So there, we'll pile into this uh, bus thing next time. We'll 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 go to the other uh, facilities around here. So much to see. We'll go to the swimming pools, and we'll have a little fun. But that's probably about all I can show you in this episode. And next time we'll come back and we'll, we'll look at the rest of the stuff. And I think, really, I hardly, ever, hardly even scratched the surface in this episode, other than the room and, and, and a little bit of the grounds and getting something to eat, because they're, it's just so immense. And I really didn't realize that when I got into this. And I had over an hour's worth of footage, almost an hour and a half of footage of this resort. So there's no way I can get it in the 15 minutes. But we'll come back and we'll do another episode tomorrow and we'll finish this up and give you, give you a good look here at the Royal Cliffs Beach Resort. And then we might even have time to look at some of the other kind of special stuff we did on, on this trip here because we're kind of kind of getting ready for the big move. And actually, while I'm editing this, V is hard at work finding movers, a <laughs> moving truck and... Uh, you know somebody to pack their stuff and move it so we've got that coming up a lot of a lot of things going on that's why we won't be doing much travel but sneak in a couple trips down here to Pattaya and look around and see what there is to see so 
see you tomorrow. We'll take a second look, a more thorough look at the resort and whatever other trouble we can get into. But for this episode, I'm going to go ahead and leave it off here. And as usual, I'll thank you for watching. And until next time, bye for now. <laughs>